Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Ninja just released a brand new coffee maker. It's called the Dual Brew Grounds and Pods Hot and Iced Coffee Maker. Retails for $150 right now, model number CFP101. I did get this off the Ninja website. I did purchase it with my own money and I will put a link to it down in the show description notes. So Ninja has really been doing a good job of making new products. This is a coffee maker, it has a clock, we can do a full pot of craft coffee. We can also do a K-cup. We can do an iced coffee. We can brew into a travel mug. Now it doesn't have a frother or anything. So this is mainly for coffee and iced coffee. I'm very impressed. The coffee tastes really good. Now this is a full 12 cup craft and it does have a warming plate down there. It's got a really nice craft. There's a the warming plate. When we want to do smaller quantities, we got this little tray that comes down. We got drip stop. Nice display. Up top, this is where things are really starting to change. I've never seen this before. So we lift this up. Earlier I did a full pot of coffee. You use a number four cone filter. Here's the filter basket, what it looks like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get rid of the coffee grounds. Okay, so this always has to be installed whether we're doing K-cups or coffee. But here's the really neat. This is the grounds adapter. So all we do is pop this off. There's the single needle when we want to do K-cups. Then we put this in. This is the K-cup adapter. It just snaps like right in here. And now when I close it, it's going to do a K-cup. See, when I put one in here, it'll pierce the top and the bottom at the same time. So they've kind of gone away from that three needle on the older dual brew, and they've gone back to the single needle. And then around back, there's even this little nice little storage tray. You have to install this storage tray. It comes in the box, but that's what it's for. We've got a scoop here on the side. And now the machine knows when I have the pot adapter installed. So when I close the lid, when it's on, there's a K-cup symbol. When I've got the other, the, when I want to do coffee grounds, there's a coffee bean so that I can do different quantities and different things depending on what I've got installed. So this is a really nice water reservoir. It's got a nice handle for carrying and for, you know, you can set it on the counter. And again, anytime you get a brand new coffee maker, I'm really starting to recommend this. This is, I call this prime in the pump and I got quite a bit of air bubbles out. Just lift it on and off the coffee maker about 10 times. I think that really does help, you know, Keurigs, Ninja, all coffee makers. I think it really does help. But I like the removable water reservoir. I can take this over there and clean that all up if I need to. Okay, so let's brew a coffee using a K-cup. I got the little tray down. Again, lift this up here. I've got the K-cup adapter already in. Put your K-cup there, close the lid. Very easy to close. Now let's talk about the display. So I, on a K-cup, I can do six ounces is the smallest quantity. I can do six, eight, 10, or 12. Now K-cups can only hold two tablespoons of coffee, so typically eight ounces is just the right amount for me. Now, once I press either classic, rich, or over ice, that's when the brew will start. Um, I'm going to do a classic, but if I do a rich, it just kind of delays the brew a little bit, a little bit longer, and it kind of extracts more flavor. Over ice now, it's going to do half the amount. So you're going to fill your tumbler full of ice. If you pick an eight ounce, it's going to brew four ounces through that K-cup. If you do six, it's going to brew three, and so on. We'll do an over ice next. So let's do an eight ounce classic brew. Again, th this has drip stop. So at the end of your brew, you may want to turn this over the drip stop so it doesn't drip. But we've got to make sure it's open in order to do the brew. So now I'm simply going to press classic. It beeps at us once to let us know, and it has a status going across. And also that light is flashing. And it does start brewing right away. And it does throw a pause in there after it brews for a little bit. Yeah, I can't believe how much they're packing into these coffee makers. There are so many different features with this. And we end up with about a 165 degree cup of coffee. That's about 187 and about 168, almost 170 degree cup of coffee. It is gonna beep at us to let us know that it's done. They're not super loud and I haven't found a way to turn those off yet. Okay. So there's my eight ounce cup of coffee. I've been drinking it out here. That's really hot right now. I can't drink it. It tastes, it tastes really good. There's no coffee grounds in the, in the coffee, nothing like that. So let's see how this needle did up here. 
yeah, it looks like it, it did a really good job. You know, I'm not getting any coffee grounds up here. I know with the older Dual Brew Pro, they, they had three needles, and sometimes there would be some coffee that would go around into your coffee, but I'm not seeing any of that here. And again, here's the pot adapter. Let's take it out. I really like the design. They've really made this pot adapter easy to clean. So I can take this off. I get this all really nice and clean and clean that bottom needle even. And just put it on and click it. Okay, let's brew an over ice. I'm going to flip this up. I've got a tumbler full of ice. You're going to put it right here. Now, this is where this shines. I can do over ice with the pot adapter in, or I can use my own coffee grounds with an over ice, even down to these smaller quantities. Okay, I've got the coffee brew head installed. And again, watch the display. It's got the coffee bean. Now, let's go. I can do really low quantities. I can do an eight ounce cup of coffee. But if I do over ice, now this is where it's a little different. When I do over ice with a K cup, it's strictly half of whatever it says up here. This one, I found that it brews a little bit more. It's two ounces less. So, and but it varies the more you go up. So if I want to do an eight ounce over coffee, it's going to brew six ounces through that K-cup and you'll have to have your tumbler full of ice and it melts and it gives you the proper dilution. But if I can do a full craft of over ice and I found that it brews, you fill the, the whole craft up. So you fill this entire thing up with ice and then it'll brew about halfway through and it'll melt and that gives you the proper dilution for over ice. So let's go back to K-cup and just take this off. Put the pot adapter in. Let's put my K cup in. And then just close the lid. Again, very simple. Now we've got the K cup. And again, select your size before you press these buttons. Um, that typically, six ounces it was only three ounces through a K cup. That is pretty good for me. Six or eight ounces is, is going to be about right. And again, that eight ounces, it just does four ounces. Let's do, yeah, let's do that. And again, over ice. And again, as soon as I press that, it's going to start. Now, when we do over ice, it's a slower brew and you get two pauses. You get one right at the beginning. It's going to throw some hot water in the K-cup, pause, and then do a little bit more and then another pause. Yeah, and it's about a 10 second pause. And now it's starting back up again. Here's the second pause. And again, we can watch the status bar going across. Okay, then it finishes up really quick. And then it's gonna beep at us to let us know that it's done. Okay, so let's get our over ice again, four ounces through there. It was really hot coming out. It brews at about 180 coming out. And again, any type of milk, this is where you can really have some fun, you know, almond milk, even flavored milk you can put in there. Again, I have to add the milk. It just makes it really smooth, takes away all the bitterness. And I really do like these little syrup dispensers. They're just really nice. About four pumps is two tablespoons. I'll also put a link to this mason jar. I've got this, it's got a bamboo lid. It comes with a metal straw, but I typically like to put like a plastic straw in there. I like that it has a nice handle on it. And so this iced coffee, Taste, it does taste really good. Now, Ninja just released this travel. I don't know if they just released it, but I just found it. There's a travel mug. It's 16 ounces. It's, it's really cool. It's only on their website, and it's kind of in the parts section. A little hard to find, but I'm going to be trying this out, using it for a while. But that's where this coffee maker shines again. I can put a travel mug here. Now, typically using a K-cup, you know, you're not going to be able to brew a large quantity out of a K-cup, but you can put your own coffee grounds in. And again, let's take the K-cup out again. Did a really good job with the K-cup. Let's take this out. Now let's put the ground coffee. Again, all this is very easy to, to switch back and forth. And don't forget, you've got the nice storage back here. Yeah, I got this off the Ninja website. I'll put a link to this in the show description notes also, but it's the Ninja Coffee Bar Stainless Steel Travel Mug. Okay, so let's go down in sizes. You can see those are still craft sizes. And again, that is 12 cups. 55 ounces is 12 cups for like a standard coffee maker. So now there's 
There's the first travel mug, 18 ounces or 14 ounces. Then you can go to 10 or 12. I mean, that's kind of like a large mug. 10's a, a coffee mug, eight. But this is where it really shines. I would do 18 ounces into this and that would be, I can take this with me using my own coffee grounds. And what's nice about this is, so I can, it has a clock on it. When I turn it off, you'll see the clock. And it's got delay brew. I can program a delay brew for a pod or a full carafe or anywhere in between. So say I wanna wake up in the morning and have my travel mug ready to go at a certain time. I can do all of that with this. That's a very unique feature. And especially with the cake up, you don't find many machines that you can program to start a cake up. Now that's gonna cool off really quick. You know, if you, if you program that to start after about 10 minutes, it's gonna be really, really cold. Well, it's gonna be pretty cold. Okay, so let's brew a full pot of coffee. I'm not gonna brew into a travel mug, but let's brew a full pot. Now this has a really nice craft. It's got a mixing tube, but the coffee's gonna go down. But you want this arrow to end up where the pour spout is. You gotta start over here, about three fourths of the way on the opposite side. Then you're gonna turn this and it'll snap. And then the opening will be right there. So the coffee maker does come with a couple of these paper filters. These are number four cone filters. And you're gonna fold it along that seam and then along that seam. And then you open it up and then we're gonna put it into the coffee maker. Now Ninja does sell a reusable filter. You gotta get it off the Ninja website and it's very specific for just like the Dual Brew Pro and this one. So you cannot buy a generic one at a store and expect it to fit, it just won't fit. But let's take a look, let's put the, you can only use either the paper or the permanent. Again, it doesn't come with the permanent filter and you do get some sediment in your coffee if you use a, a a permanent filter, but a paper filter, no sediment. So again, just put it in here, make sure it's hugging the walls. Now I really like the scoop, the, the bigger end and the smaller. The smaller end is one tablespoon, the bigger end is two tablespoons. Then you're gonna put one tablespoon per cup you're gonna brew. So since I'm gonna do the full 12 cups, I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons, which is six of these big ones. And you'll see the markings on there. I could go all the way up to seven, which is 14 tablespoons. That's pretty strong coffee, but it doesn't overflow or anything. So again, I'm just gonna put six of these, which is the equivalent of 12 tablespoons. Okay, so I got the brew head installed. We're gonna close this. Since I'm doing a full craft, I gotta make sure my water reservoir is full. Okay, so the coffee bean is on. Let's go all the way to the full craft. It's 55 ounces, it's 12 cups. Make sure the drip stop. If you leave the drip stop, and try a brew, it's gonna beep at you. It says, hey, move the drip stop. Okay, move it. There's a little open light and a closed light. So let's time it. Let's just do a classic brew. And it starts brewing right away. Okay, so at the one minute mark, it does do a little pause. So it's, you're gonna think that it's kind of done, but it gets really quiet and then it starts back up again. Okay, starting back up. Now, if any time during this brew process, you wanna grab a quick cup of coffee, just hit the, the, the brew, the stop drip, and now you can grab a quick cup of coffee, put this back, and then it'll finish the brew. When I put that drip stop over the clothes, it does stop the water pump inside. But if you leave it there too long, it will cancel the brew. If you leave it there for over three minutes, it just cancels the brew. And so the warming plate light does come on here and down here. And I can adjust that warming plate from zero to four hours that it'll stay on after I'm done brewing. And it's got three different temperature settings for the brew plate. And I can turn it on without having to start a brew. So say you're, you come back and everything is shut off and you're like, oh, there's a bunch of coffee left. You can turn just the warming plate on, it'll warm that coffee up and drink it. Ninja's really known for that warming plate feature. I, that's a pretty nice feature that I do not see on a lot of coffee makers. We also have a clean light. Now the manual doesn't tell us when that light will light up or why, it just says if your coffee maker needs to be descaled, it's gonna light the light. I wish it was, wish they were be more specific, like hey, after 250 brews or after this, but I guess there must be a sensor on the inside to let us know that it's time to descale. I mean, that seems like a lot of technology. I imagine it's probably just after so many brews, but I don't know. 
I will do a separate video on running vinegar through this machine. So that, that, that is a button. It's a button and a light. So it'll light up to let you know when it's time to descale. And then when you've got time to descale it, you're going to run it through a descale mode. Also, if you live at a high altitude, I'm going to do a separate video on high altitude calibration. So if you're getting a bunch of steam and not a lot of, you know, say your coffee's not quite as much, but you're getting a bunch of steam, that means you need to do the high altitude calibration. Okay, so it's been six minutes. You can see we've got, it's well over halfway done. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is about 192. It was about 187 right at the beginning, but then it does get up to about 192. Now, it's, it sounds like it's stopping. We've got a couple bars to go. This thing does drip for a while. I found that it takes, you know, we're at seven minutes, almost eight minutes, and there's still coffee coming out. But the last minute and a half, is just it's just dripping. So I've just moved the drip stop over, and that finishes the brew. So about the eight minute mark again, it's just dripping from this point. But we do have one more bar and it is gonna take a little bit longer. I could just hit this to drip stop and start drinking my coffee right now. Okay, nine minutes, 40 seconds. It's beeping at me and the coffee maker is done. I definitely wanna to go to drip stop because it is gonna drip a little bit more even. So again, that's a full craft. It pours really nice. I do like these Ninja Crafts. And that's a really hot coffee. Here's what the coffee looks like. It's too hot to drink right now. I have been drinking it. Again, I have to add my creamer and sugar. That's a 172 degree cup of coffee. That's really hot. Again, up here, let's see how the coffee grounds. Yeah, it did a really good job with the coffee grounds. And it's, cleanup is so simple. I just grabbed this. It's not gonna leak on me. And I can take this over there and get rid of the coffee. Okay, so we're gonna go over how to set the time, the delay brew, and then I'm gonna see if these pods work. Okay, so to set the time, turn it off. So you got a power button here. Turn it off, hold the hour and the minute button. This is gonna be the time in your house. And then use these arrows. It does have an AM and a PM. So set whatever time you got, then go to minutes. And again, you can go back or forward. Press it again, it's gonna beep, and that's memorized now. Now let's set the, okay, let's set the delay brew. You first have to turn it on. Turn it on, hit the lay brew. That's gonna be, that light's gonna be on steady. Now this is the time you want it to start in the morning. I want it to start at five. Hit it again. It's gonna go over to minutes. Five, oh five. So after you get the minutes set, then you wanna pick if you want rich, over ice, or classic. And that way that'll be flashing. Hit the delay brew again. Now what size do you want? 10 ounce, 12 ounce, 14 ounce. Again, it's gonna be whatever you've got installed up here. I've got the coffee, so I can do a full craft. Again, I put, could, even at this point, I could hit rich or over ice. And then hit this again, and now it's gonna memorize it. So now the delay brew light is on. You're gonna leave the coffee maker alone. Make sure you got enough water, your coffee's installed, and it's, this thing will start in the morning, but make sure the drip stop is open. And if you come up here and you try to do something, it's gonna beep at you and that's gonna start flashing, let you know, hey, you're in delay brew, you can't do anything else. Yeah, you can't even try to turn the power off. But if you wanna cancel it for the morning, you're just gonna come up here and hit that and hit that again, walk it through. And if you hit it again, the light's gonna go out. Now, I did turn power off and that did cancel the delay brew, so be careful. When you go to bed, you wanna make sure that the delay light is on. Okay, let's talk about the craft, the warming plate. Again, make sure it's on, press and hold the warming plate button. The default is two hours. I can go in 15 minute increments all the way to zero. It'll turn the craft warming plate off automatically and I can go after the brew or I can go all the way up to four hours. Again, default is always gonna be two. Press it again. Now it's always on medium for craft temperature. I can go to high and I can go to low. I like medium. Press it again, now it's memorized. Let it stop flashing and it's gonna memorize it. There. Okay, let's try, again, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I haven't had enough time with this call. I've been using a lot of the other functions, but I haven't tried these. I know that's gonna be a question. Two tablespoons, this is the perfect pod reusable K-cup. Take the coffee grounds off. I got the K-cup adapter in. 
I think it's going to fit. Let's try it right there. Let's close. The, well, the lid closes. Okay, got drip stop open. Let's do eight ounces classic brew. Now, there, you always got to keep remembering to fill this up. There's not a level sensor on there, but it will remind you if it runs out of water, it'll say add water. Okay, looks like it's doing a good job. I don't see any coffee grounds yet. Now, there will be some sediment in this coffee because it's using a permanent filter where K-cups have paper filters in them. Okay, looks like it finished up. I don't see any obvious signs. You know, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't see any coffee grounds for say. Lift the top up. Wow, I think it did a really good job. Yeah, I don't see any coffee grounds anywhere around it, so yeah. able to use these um i gotta commend shark that's a that's a really good deal there because a lot of people have these and a lot of people like to use these again i purchased this with my own money I, and i'm not paid for this video i just i really do like this coffee maker i think shark is doing a really good job you know they're just releasing coffee makers i think two maybe you know the two every year it looks like for the last couple of years and they're being innovative uh these are features that i think people are going to like strictly coffee oriented you know it doesn't have the milk frother it doesn't do a specialty brew which mimics a cappuccino so kind of a different line but being able to program it to start a cake up travel mug full carafe all great features and just look at this coffee maker i think it looks really nice and it's not super big okay so let's do the under cabinet test now the coffee maker is 1550 watts unfortunately standard kitchen cabinets it doesn't fit under I, you know i wish it did that's kind of a tall order Let's go over height wise. So with the lid, yeah, you're, you're getting into the 21, 22 inches, right around 21 and a half inches. Front to back is about 11 inches. Left to right is about 11 inches. Yeah, I, I think this coffee maker, I think just looks really nice. Love the water reservoir. Love how easy it is to get on and off. Yeah, you know, if you had a cabinet with a shelf like this, it would work perfect. I'm just really happy with this coffee maker. I'll put links to everything you see in the show description notes. Some of it's going to take you to the Ninja. Some of it might take you to the Amazon website. I'm going to affiliate on both of those sites. If you end up clicking on the, on the product link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I will get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. And I'm going to be working on the comparisons next. Dual Brew Pro, and this is the one that was just released earlier. I love both these coffee makers, but how are they going to stand up against this one? So it does say it's faster than the Keurig K Elite. Well, the K Elite has an internal water tank that has to heat up first. So, yeah, it might be faster than that one, but they're, it's about on par with a K Supreme or something. They're about the same speed. Yeah, let's go over all they're saying on the box. Yeah, single serve, fold away, removable water reservoir, 12 cup carafe, adapter storage. Yep, intelligent warming plate. Yep. Talks about a thermal flavor extraction duo. Not sure what that is. Even saturation and temperature control for hot flavorful coffee. Yeah, the coffee tastes really good. And we've got different brew strings. We've got classic, rich, and over ice. Also got some exciting news. I'm going to be meeting with a coffee company in St. Louis. We're going to be branding Just a Dad Coffee. I'll first be coming out with a signature roast probably. And then followed by different flavors after that. If there's a certain flavor you'd like to see, leave them in the comments down below. And I'm going to compare this to other Ninja coffee makers, but which Keurig should I compare this to? Probably the K-Supreme. And this has gotten me thinking, you know, if Ninja comes out with one with a milk frother, like that heats the milk and froths it, you know, that could be pretty cool. You know, Keurig kind of owns that market with the milk frothers built in that heat the milk and everything. And I'm, I'm glad they didn't go like, oh, this connects to the Wi-Fi. I don't necessarily, I get it with Keurig, why Keurig does that, because they've got this auto refill very integrated to their website. So I understand why Keurig does it. They want, they want to see what pods you're using. They're going to automatically reorder and ship them out to you. That's a very nice feature. 
I'm glad they didn't do that with this. There's no Wi-Fi, no smart technology with this. It's just a coffee maker with lots of built-in features. I, I, the more I look at it, I can't get over how small they made it. I mean, I know it lifts up high, but all these features packed in and it's just not that big. So underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I really do appreciate it. Look out for my new videos that are gonna show the coffee journey. Um, we're gonna be, I have no idea how to make your own coffee, but the roasters down in St. Louis, um, I, the first meeting was just amazing. So I'm pretty excited about that. Actually, I'm really, really excited about it. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. This kitchen downstairs has been really, really nice. I can do my reviews. I don't have to break the studio down every night. You know, when I was upstairs, anytime we wanted to cook or make supper, I had to take everything and kind of put it up. But this is really helping me like leave things set up if I'm in the middle of a review. Again, not a huge production department. I've got some video lights. I've got this little kitchen studio right here and I'm still editing my own videos. My wife's really helping me out a bunch with different, doing um, lots of descriptions and different things on the YouTube page. Yeah, I check the Ninja webpage, you know, at least once a week, if not every couple weeks, just to see. Their stuff just sneaks onto their webpage, and then they don't, they don't, they don't send the email out right away, so it'll show in stock on their webpage, and then you're like, oh, well, this is new, and then you order it, and then about three weeks later or so, you'll get the email saying, hey, we just released a new product, so. This is going to be very popular for Christmas and as a gift. Um... I am going to highly recommend this coffee maker. Hopefully it won't be like the Ninja Creamy and they're going to sell out of it so quick and you can't find it anywhere. And I suspect they're going to come out with a different model to sell at Walmart. You know, take away one button or something. But as of right now, 150 bucks, you know, they're going to put this on sale. You know, around between 100 and 150, that's a, I think that's a good price point for this. This is not a $20 Mr. Coffee Maker. Um, it's got, it's loaded with features. Very well made. Again, I don't know how long it's going to last, longevity. But I do know Ninja has a pretty good customer service. I have had to call them a few times. Haven't had any problems talking to them. So again, really appreciate everybody's support. If you could give it a thumbs up and you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.